class. So before anything else, can you please all stand for a prayer? Um, Marvin, please lead a prayer. Okay, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So before you take your seats, can you please pick up the pieces of plastics and papers and their chairs. And now, um, before we proceed, can I have your attendance first? So who is absent today? Very good. No one is absent today, so keep it up, class. Give your... Um, self a round of applause all right so anyone who can recall of what would be our topic last meeting um raise your hand if you if you want to answer yes marvi local arts ma'am very good it is all about local arts and now before we proceed to our proper discussion let's have an activity first for you to be able to have an idea of what would be our next topic for today so um did you find the activity easy or difficult it was fun and easy teacher are you familiar with the words you come up there are some words that were not familiar, teacher. Okay, so do you have an idea of what would be our topic for today? Based on the words, teacher, maybe it is all about arts and crafts in the Philippines. Alright, yes. Our topic for today is all about ethnic arts and crafts in the Philippines. Now, um, let's proceed to our proper discussion for today. So, are you, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, so I want your eyes and ears on me, meaning you have to pay attention and listen carefully to what I have discussed. So, do you understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So, let's start. So, ethnic arts in the Philippines are labors of love and patience. So, um, the intricate carvings on wood, metal, stone, or glass are products of skillful hands and imaginative mind. And um, there are um, indigenous musical instruments like the flute, drums, rain sticks, native guitars, and bells are made of bamboo, twigs, pebbles, Antonal skin, seeds, and seashells. Like for example, natumpung is also type of Philippine bamboo flute used by the Magindanaon, half the size of the largest bamboo flute, the Palindag. Uh, the next example is Sulibao. Sulibao is a hollow igor drum topped with pig skin or lizard skin. And another example is Rain sticks. So the rain sticks simulate the sound of rainfall and were or originally used in the native ceremonies during dry months to ask the gods for rain. Another example is karaga. So a karaga is a guitar made up of bamboo where the strings are slit from the bamboo itself. And last example is tongkaling brass bells. It is used as an amulet or as a musical instrument in the Philippines. And now let's proceed to the Philippine batik. So the first one example is basketry. So basketry is an ethnic tradition of weaving and one of the functional art of many nations. Another is pottery. So a pottery is another ethnic tradition commonly practiced by um, Asians. And the next one is carving. It is also one of the example of Philippine batik. Um, carvings another form common to Filipino people and the last one is metal works so metal works have intricate and intriguing designs among Asians metal works fifteen minutes time's up so Pass your papers in front. Now that you are done with our group activity, now let's proceed to our next activity. It is written activity, which is identification. You have to answer it within 20 minutes. Identification 1 whole paper. Instruction. Read every item and 
Identify what is being asked. You can choose the answer inside the box. Are you done answering class? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So now, um, pass your answers in front. So how was the quiz class? Do you find it easy or difficult? It's okay, ma'am. Okay, very good. That's good to know. Before we call it a day, I have here an assignment that you are going to answer at home. So do you have any questions about the assignment? None so far, ma'am. Okay, if that's so, then we can call it a day. I hope you've learned something out from our discussion. So that would be all. Goodbye and thank you class.